Hey there movie fans, uh, this is going to be my Criterion update of 2014. Uh, I'm going to show you the, um, well my first Criterion purchases ever since I did a video of my Criterion collection which is about a year ago now. And um, most of these new titles I got from the recent Barnes & Noble sale. But first up I'd like to show you uh, the only DVD that I have. And this is quite an unusual DVD because this is the first and only uh, European um, release from the Criterion Collection. Now, don't quote me on that. I could be mistaken, but on the other hand, I'm pretty sure it is because I've never seen you know another um, European Criterion release. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty sure this is the only one that has ever been brought out. But um, this is a, a Dutch edition, and there's this Dutch company called uh, Video Film Express BV, which I don't think they exist anymore. But they made a deal with the Criterion Collection to release some of their titles in the Netherlands. But I'm guessing that the sale of this movie didn't do very well, so they never release other titles from uh, from the Criterion. But uh, anyway, you know, this is not an extremely rare edition. You know, I, I got it uh, from a Dutch marketplace for just three euros, so it's it's, it's pretty cheap, I have to say. But you know, I I like it because it's it's, it's quite unique. You know, I've never I've never seen another Criterion uh, release. You know, outside of um, uh, the U.S of course but it has the same special features as as the, the original criterion release and um, I have to say the uh, the picture quality looks very good even though it's not anamorphic it looks very very good so this is a very nice release I have to say and it does you know it is kind of part of the uh, criterion collection um, yeah, and a good film as well. I, I haven't seen this film for a long, long time, Dead Ringers by David Cronenberg, but looking forward to uh, checking it out again. Okay, next up is um, Billy Wilder's Ace in Hole. Absolutely brilliant film. One of my favorite Billy Wilder films next to Sunset Boulevard and uh, Witness for the Prosecution. Uh, but this is such a beautiful release. Let me show you what it looks like. Of course, it's got the uh, the Blu-ray over here and the two DVDs. And look at the uh, the the back artwork. It looks absolutely stunning. And it also has this beautiful uh, booklet in the shape of a newspaper. Which is, I believe, this is the same one as uh, as the uh, DVD release. Very, very nice. Okay, I got the foreign correspondent. Now I show this in this entirely uh, on my um, Hitchcock collection video so I'm not, I'm not going to show the whole thing again but uh, this is one of Hitchcock's most underrated films if you ask me looks absolutely gorgeous on um, black and white um, it's a mad 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 world another beautiful release this also has the uh, the roadshow version, including some scenes that has been returned to the movie here for the first time. Uh, I, you know, I have, still haven't seen this version. I still need to check it out. But because I believe this is over three hours. Don't say it's here. How long it is? Oh, here it is. One hundred ninety-seven minutes long, and it's a. Uh, Restored in 4K uh, digital. Uh, it looks. I'm sure it's going to look amazing. 
and she shows you the whole thing and this is quite a long uh, thing here got all these discs which is you know terrible I, I'm absolutely not a fan of of these kind of uh, slits or whatever they call it but for the blue ace it isn't really that bad because you know blue ace has an extra protective layer and the artwork on here looks fantastic very nice release also has a uh, a map as you can see here and a booklet of course with some wonderful artwork on there Next up is uh, Persona by Ingmar Bergman. Uh, I have not seen this film yet, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it. You know, of, of all the films that I've seen of Bergman, there isn't one that has disappointed me. So I'm, yeah, I'm quite sure I'm gonna like this as, this one as well. Uh, you know, got a lot of um, special features, including a documentary called Live and Ingmar. The 2012 featured documentary, uh, which concentrates on the relationship that Liv uh, Ullman, the actress, uh, had with Ingmar Bergman. And this is another wonderful release. You have the disc here, a beautiful picture at the back, and quite a thick booklet. Can see here oh. beautiful absolutely beautiful but this is the most beautiful uh, Criterion title that I've recently received. It is um, Red River by Howard Hawks, and you know, this is quite a thick edition. I mean, this is how you treat a classic film. You have, of course, the um, the Blu-ray DVD package. You have uh, John Wayne on this side and Montgomery Cliff on the other side. Uh, here are the disc, of course. There's this booklet. And you have the book on which this film is based on. Blazing Guns on the Chisholm Trail by Borden Chase which has a different ending than the movie. I heard that the writer, or what is someone else? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really sure. But I, I'm guessing one of the, someone that wasn't very pleased with the ending of, of uh, the film because it was you know, different than the book. But uh, you know, either way, it is a magnificent Western. Uh, certainly, oh, certainly one of the best westerns uh, ever made, really. And uh, Criterion really gave gave it the treatment that this film deserved. Absolutely a beautiful, beautiful release. And of course, uh, another shitload of special features here. Uh, here are a few um, you know, regular key case edition. 
uh, I got Beauty and the Beast by uh, Jean Cocteau. Uh, still need to check this out, but I heard that this is a very beautiful film. Uh, some says that it is the best film adaptation uh, adaptation of the classic story. Um, you know, even better than the Disney version. But it looks uh, it looks very beautiful. Can't wait to uh, watch this film. And the last three are all uh, Kurosawa fil uh, films, and you know I'm a huge Kurosawa fan, so I just need to get these uh, on Blu-ray. Even though I already have them on DVD, but uh, you know I just have to get them on high definition as well. Uh, anyway, first up is Throne of Blood, which is based on um, what is it, King Lear? Uh, Shakespeare, I believe it's King Lear, but I'm not really sure. I I, I guess I, I'm, I'm I'm guessing it's King Lear, but it's another beautiful release. And it has a booklet. Look at that picture over there of a samurai. Very nice. Maybe it's, oh wait a minute, Macbeth, <laughs> of course, I'm an idiot, Macbeth. Well, I, th I thought Kurosawa also did a version of King Lear. Maybe that's Ren, I'm not really sure. I need to do my homework. Beautiful release. Also got uh, Razamon, which is uh, certainly one of his best films. Uh, imitated many times, but never bettered. And the artwork looks amazing. I absolutely love the artwork. There's also some great artwork on the uh, on the booklet. Like this one over here. Fantastic release. And last but not least, I also have The Hidden Fortress, which is the main inspiration of George Lucas when he made uh, Star Wars. Uh, you know, for example, uh, the uh, two farmers, you know, kind of clumsy farmers or, or peasants, uh, they were the basis for R2-D2 and uh, C-3PO. And the princess in this film was, uh, was the basis for uh, Princess Leia in Star Wars. So this was a major, major influence for um, George Lucas when he started doing or started writing Star Wars. Oh, here are the, uh, you know, the two clumsy farmers, the R2-D2 and C-3PO of uh, the Hidden Fortress. Very beautiful. Well, that is it for my Criterion update. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me show you all the titles that I have again. Persona, Mad World, Foreign Correspondent, Ace in the Hole, and the first and only European uh, Criterion release of Dead Ringers. Anyway, that was it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.